everybody. It's Danny back from Deep South Homestead. Guys, we got a new part for the tractor. Uh, we got us a C22 sickle bar mower. Uh, I found one in the country and I ordered it. It was a long trip to get here, uh, but it got here. And when it got here, I was almost heartbroken. It was in such bad shape when it got here. I told Wanda, I said, I don't know about this. I said, I might have just wasted a ton of money, you know. But uh, I worked all week long on this thing. We're completely rebuilding it. I mean, I took every bit of it apart, put it all back together, redone it. I've got new parts in it everywhere. I mean, I mean I'm talking about guys... Even this wooden rod, they had it made out of some old cheap pine. I went and cut a piece of hardwood, oak, and I made that thing out of oak and seasoned it in with some uh, some good oil. Um, put new bolts in everything, new grease alamites in everything. I took every piece of it apart and cleaned it and painted it. I took every pin out of it. I put new pins, new keys, uh through the whole thing uh even had to make a piece of plate steel here because the piece that was here uh they had it just all kind of rigged up with stuff that was i mean it was pitiful yeah and one thing that i have ordered is i have new teeth for all of these ordered uh and rivets coming to replace every one of these teeth because they're in kind of bad shape and they're dull my next thing uh I had a couple of these that was bad. One of these that was bad. And believe it or not, I found this at Tractor Supply. It's not identical to these here, but it says that it's universal and that it will fit a lot of different sickle mowers. And I brought it here, and I had to take a hammer and bend it just a little bit, and it worked perfect. So we was able to replace the one of them that was wore out. We've got a couple of teeth here that somebody has hit something with and has bent them, so I'll probably have to pick up a couple of teeth when I find them. Uh, it doesn't have the uh, the grass board that goes on the side of it out here. I've got to try to see if I can locate one of those to go on it. But other than that, I mean, I even around back here on it. Uh, we ordered a brand new pulley. To go on the back of it there's only one place in the united states i found i called every tractor company that there was to call nobody had this i found one company in maine that's making them brand new and they wanted both arms and one leg for it and uh i had no choice because without it it's, it's totally useless so i had to buy it to go with it uh we purchased a new belt to go with it um Guys, I, I mean, it literally, I hooked it up to the tractor here. I greased it all up. All the bearings in it was in really good shape. I, re, I re back with all galvanized bolts and everything, uh, new grease fittings and everything. Uh, I completely re-sanded, repainted every part of it. The one thing about this that I learned, you got to completely disassemble the whole tractor, take everything off of the tractor that you use for plowing in a field and to put this on here and and it was a job let me tell you i had no manual of this thing when i ordered it it came in on that pallet sitting right beside the tractor right here and it was all to pieces in order to be able to ship it and i had no idea because i'd never even seen one before i had no idea how it all went back together and you can ask Ms. wanda it took me a week of looking at pictures Cause I had to, I cleaned every part. I had a whole shop full of parts and pieces laying everywhere. And looking at pictures online, I eventually figured out how to put it all back together and make it work. And I'm, uh, guys, I, I've tested it. It does work. This thing slides real good. And that's really dull because these teeth aren't no good. They're all bad. But um, when I get the new teeth put in it, I think I'll be a lot happier with it. Because what I bought this for originally is I'm getting to the point where I can't do a lot of weed eating because of my shoulders and my back and my neck. And we have lots of grass that comes up around the pond. And I can't get down there next to the water to weed eat it anymore. So I bought this so that we could lay it down out by the pond. 
and we could drive along the pond and cut the grass off out into the water without having to do any weed eating. So, and I might have a few places that I can't get to that I may have to use a weed eater on, but it'd be very minimal. And guys, I think it's time to take it down to the pond and see if it'll work. Now the teeth are dull, so I don't expect a whole lot out of it, but I wanna see how it works at the pond and whether or not it'll actually cut the grass. around the edge of the water huh. well guys um, as you can see I went around the edge of the pond and it cut it down you know I could it, it could be used for hay I suppose but um, I uh, my first trip with it I didn't uh, I didn't expect a whole lot because it was so dull but you know what it's going to work Ms. Wanda looking at the fish. I'm watching the fish. Look I'm at them bass. That's isn't nice. that nice? All them bass. Those in the have water. raised. That's about five or six of them right there, I see. Look at all the brim coming over here. Dragonfly. They're all looking for something to eat. They see us around the edges here and they used to see bugs jumping in the water. I don't know if they can see that, but there are a bunch of brim out there. Brim and bass. I'm looking at all of them. Yeah, the bass were all up here, but the brim's further out. Yeah. Okay, back to your story. Back to my story. We were, uh, I think we're going to like the way that it works. I think we're going to like the job that it done. Guys, I could see me doing this on that tractor in a field and enjoying the heck out of life, you know. If I had a big field and I could just drop that thing down and cut, the way I, that thing was operating going through here, I mean, it was just beautiful to watch that grass just lay over and fall down behind it. And I was having a blast. I'm not going to lie to you. So I'll, I think that piece of equipment is going to work out pretty good for us here on the homestead to be able to keep our pond cleaned around the edges. You can see, and I didn't do any on the, long, the very end down yonder, but, you know, I did all along the side, and I did the dam. Uh, I could have probably done a better job on the dam, but there was some rocks up on the top, and I didn't want to just get rocks all up in it. But maybe in the future, I'll try to do a little bit better job on the dam. When I get more new teeth on it, maybe it'll cut it a little bit better. But, guys, another tool. Oh! <laughs> Man, did you see that? That fish just run up there and got that. 
that's life by the pond, isn't it? That's just wonderful. Um, so guys, another piece of equipment for the Cub Form All. I have two more pieces coming. So hopefully in the future, we're going to be able to show them and uh, show you how they work and everything. And I'm having to rebuild one of them, and I'm waiting on the other one to come. So my, my days has been filled with just rebuilding Cub equipment, and I'm having a blast doing it. So thank you guys from Deep South Homestead. I could probably get a little closer to the edge of that bar and cut those. You just got to get used to it. Yeah, I just got to get used to it. I was a little nervous getting too, I didn't want to get too close to the edge of the pond. I was... Man. The reflection in this pond is gorgeous right now. Isn't it Hard to see. Well, I mean, I don't know how you'd have to get to it. cut all this stuff down. Just laid it down. I noticed when I was running through with the tractor, uh, the fish were following me as I was going. They did a good job over here. They did actually, look at the fish, little old bitty fish everywhere. They're hiding up in this grass. Boy, they take off, too. I mean, they're running out there. I guess it. They're Look at them in there. Wow. I guess they don't want the bass to eat them. Yep, that's what it is. This little brim about an inch, an inch and a half long. All running out there. Afraid they'll become bass food. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. They're high. They're running from them big fish. You can't see nothing but reflections. That's it. Just reflections. Your eyes can see it, but the camera can't. But ain't it pretty? Beautiful. They're coming out of that culvert, John, too. I see the brim coming out of that culvert and bass. There's a grasshopper here. He was. He jumped in the water. Dude, I don't know if you want to do that. Let's just see if he makes it. Obviously, he's going to make it. He ain't moved. He's going to let the wind carry him across. He's, if he ever starts doing his legs like that, a lot of times they'll get him. Oh, well, I, he got him. <laughs> he got him. Don't take him long to find him. Oh, no, time to hit the water. Got him. Look at Lord. that. Lord. He said, yep, thank you. Thank you, sir, for that one. 